Okay, okay, here we go, here we go. Please don't start it. <laughs> I have a problem. <laughs> alright, alright. Oh, YouTube? Turn it up just a touch for myself. <sighs> okay. Andy sent me my strawberry seeds. Let's go. Okay, so my mod allows me to harvest with uh, sites, which is great because harvesting with your hands is silly. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> we have to get rid of some things. There we go. We're just gonna make our field a little bit bigger because I have a problem. And I figured since I'm using a mod for stamina anyways, I might as well. <laughs> Am I preemptively lining it up for Oh, I messed up this bottom line. Oh my god, I'm so bad at this. How many times have I played Stardew? Oh, I've never felt more shame in myself. Yeah, give me those. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to need my pickaxe and my axe. Put that away, and we'll deal with those in a second. I just need to spruce up a little bit. Also, that has to go into a bundle. We have access to that. So that's good. <laughs> Back on the hurricane. All right. So my goal is to clean out a half of the yard in order to um, start building my tree farm for sap and stuff. All right. And then the rest will just use as fillers for, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I know technically I probably don't have enough money for anything that would pop up in the store, but you know, it never hurts to check. And you're probably wondering, Zavi, why are there two of you on the screen? Well, obviously, because I'm obsessed with Karm's art. <laughs> it's so good. Pop up that link. Good to meet your seed. Oh, I don't think we own one yet. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh, not a bundle. Where the bundle? Oh, there's so many bundle items here. Pressing, ooh, wrong button. Yeah, here's the button we're looking for. Artisan bundle. So we do need a pomegranate. I feel like the pomegranate would be the more difficult thing to get, so we'll just save the rest for later. Like breaking those four geodes open. And now let's run our asses to the museum. Museum and then, uh, museum and then, hey Sam. Sam's trying to do a kickflip, okay. Hello Jody. You're so sweet. <laughs> Poor woman. <laughs> so 
business. Uh, I sense you've been spending spending some time in the community center. Good to know someone's taking care of the place. Well, isn't that your job, your sir? Sir, sir. Oh, it's Halovia. Doesn't have to be my dudes, my buddies. How should I get down? Okay, let's put this one down here. Crazy crazy. Don't like crazy crazy. H E E E E Big Country. It's been a while. How have you been doing? Why 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 Thank you so much for the sub. How are you doing? I hope you're having a lovely day. <laughs> How was the move? Are you all settled in now? I'm too afraid to tell me I'm a country because I'm so inclined and I really want to make you mine. Do 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 like so far and I really want to make you mine. <laughs> Tired as fuck and yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that, but I'm glad the move went well. <laughs> Has work been going well for you? <laughs> I can say. So tired. Can't keep my eyes open. Ah, big country. <laughs> ah, oh my God, now so many subs. Thank you for gifting the 10 subs. I hope uh, Pop Neo Hawk, Imitation Orange, Lee the Pop Picado, Empathy, Derp, uh, Derper Derp TV, VT, East Fort East, I love East, Luf Gossen, and Invincible Conchu, and its cryptic host, and a very classy demon. Enjoy the subs. Ah, <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> Oh, you're so sweet. Welcome to Jojo Mart. <laughs> thank you, thank you. <laughs> Let me just barge into your office and say hello. Oh, you should play some Stardew. I'd play Stardew with you. I love Stardew. <laughs> I totally don't have issues starting over, as you guys can probably tell. I think I've made like four save files in the last like 48 hours. <laughs> I have a problem. The glorious, glorious Stardew problem. <laughs> You should play Stardew. <laughs> I, I'm just gonna tell this to everyone. <laughs> play Stardew, it's good. Uh, there's also an update recently. Also, I feel like I'm really loud. I'm so sorry. I, I got a little too hyped <laughs> and started shouting. Ew, it's Harvey. Oh, I wonder if the portrait mod updated. The furthest progress I have is making it to the desert. Wow. If you ever play modded, I suggest Stardew Expanded. It adds so much. Like, so much. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh my gosh, please. I need to subscribe to Spotify. This is getting ridiculous. <laughs> I have not played in mod Stardew. Oh, <laughs> as someone who's played it vanilla a lot and beaten it, I, I find it's like a breath of fresh air, but this update is kind of amazing. 
I like the little books you find that teach you, like, extra stuff. They sometimes feel a little bit overpowered, but, you know, I'm not complaining. <laughs> um, as I said before, I am playing the game modded. Um, I have played the crap out of Stardew and Stardew Expanded, so I'm using this to, like, get me through the beginning of the game so we can, like, see all the content together. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that is a glorious mod, okay? <laughs> UI Info Suite is, uh, okay, so it also shows you how much, like, space your sprinkler would take. But if you have other sprinklers down, it'll show you where they overlap. Um, can I make a scarecrow? I can make a scarecrow. Why haven't I made a scarecrow yet? And then with the scarecrow, it shows you the radius for them. So obviously I'm just gonna stick this guy right here because we don't have any sprinklers and then he'll just hang out over here. Yeah, so this mod is absolutely amazing. <laughs> and it shows you the whole radius. Hey Unleashed, how's it going? Farming is going wonderful. I absolutely adore this game. We'll always suggest it to people. It now plays up to eight people, which is absolutely hype. <laughs> All right, so we got let's start with pickaxe, axe, and scythe. We're just doing some light yard cleaning so I can start setting up my tree farm to maximize our sap pile. <laughs> I've kind of slacked. As you can tell, we're seven days in and I still haven't cleaned the farm up completely. <laughs> Raising animals. We still have to build the coop. We need to build a furnace and slide ten slimes. How are you doing today, Unleashed? Hope you're having a lovely day. I am excited to play games on Sunday with you. Okay, so I'm using YouTube Shuffle, right? And I have a playlist that I've already put it, put together, but the, the shuffle is so bad because now we're listening to a second song by the same, like, person, I guess. Uh... Yeah, okay, so essentially the shuffle took me to one place, and then we've been playing songs down the list from there. Oh, oh no. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna go up here to this song, and then we're just gonna work our way down. This is what we're doing now. My friends, I, I send them a message while they're busy, telling them that there is like updates for all of our mods, basically. And then like having to send it to all my friends whom I'm playing with. I'm like, oh hey, by the way, the really good mod also has an update. <laughs> Don't forget to download it. <laughs> Uh, things are going well. Nearly done with the video highlight. I was testing some clan mods for the Sunday. Ooh, don't forget to send me a link prior to the stream. Like, a good amount of time. <laughs> that way I have time to download everything.
there is no rhyme or reason to how I do things. <laughs> so I'm sorry in advance. Uh, no problem. We should be able to send everyone the demo code either today or tomorrow. Awesome. Thank you. That's very helpful. I'm going to have to set up my stream avatars at some point. I really, really, really want to get little Junimos for my screen. <laughs> I think it'd be so cute. I love Junimos. <laughs> I still have to take a picture of my Junimos. I think I have one on my phone from when I got them. I don't know. <laughs> All right. So, um... I had to upgrade my phone recently because my phone just, the screen was absolute, it wasn't broken on the outside, it was broken on the inside. Occasionally the screen would just like freak out like a bad uh, TV, like an, like you know the classic TVs with the, yeah you know, <laughs> long before smart TVs, those kind of TVs. And uh, it would just go black, but there would be like a one segment of the screen where you could actually still see my screen perfectly fine. And then it would just all go black and I kind of had to smack it for it to work. It was really awful because <laughs> it would always do that. I, would, I tried to call uh, my phone company to see about an update, but they didn't want to be on speakerphone, but my phone was broken. And then they got really mad at me. So anyways, I finally got my phone and it was like, yay, new phone, all this space. And then the person setting it up was like, uh, I'm just going to copy over stuff from your phone. And I'm like, okay. So I let them do it, but I didn't realize they were copying my entire phone over to my new phone. So like, <laughs> phone. I was looking forward to, you know, new phone, new life. <laughs> But yeah, so I, I have like, I don't know, phones, pictures from when I first got my last phone, if that's any clarity on to how much they copied over from my old phone. So much. <laughs> uh, who else is playing with us? Unleashed, anyone cool? Not that anyone's not cool. All right, so we do have a mod that allows us to harvest a scythe, but like, the, the, the stipulation is that you have to harvest everything with your scythe, which is cool. <laughs> I have no problems with that. But I forget sometimes because it'll just be one thing and I, I won't have my scythe on me. <laughs> so I'll have to like run over to the box. Get my scythe, harvest the one item. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I'm really excited to see the Stardew Valley like story and how it progresses. Um, Karm was looking at a portrait mod uh, that gives them more of like an anime look. And it's absolutely precious, but I didn't realize that they also did portraits for the Stardew Expanded characters. And I saw a character I've never seen before, and I'm like, I've played the crap out of this game. Where is this character? <laughs> so, obviously, I have to get to the bottom of who the heck that character is. <laughs> I wonder if that's the mermaid. Oh, y'all, blue hair is probably the mermaid. I don't know. We'll see. So 
suffice to say, curiosity peaked. So far, only two guarantees are you, uh, are us, Nep, and two personal friends of mine. Vinny and Carmi have invited, but they're both currently in maybe. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Five o'clock for me is pretty early, but it is on Sunday, so Vinny might be around. Hopefully we get them. It'd be so fun. More chaos. <laughs> I mean, who doesn't love chaos? Oh, we gotta go pet cat. Hello. Hello, Lucy. <laughs> nope, Stardew needs a wizard hat for me to wear. Oh, this is so rough. Okay, so last night I was playing with Snow and uh, Captain Putin. And in the two separate files that I played last night, I got my axe big enough, like uh, upgraded enough for me to be able to like actually break stuff, <laughs> right? Like all these wood, all this wooden stuff. So coming back to the save file is so much pain. <laughs> I have to make it, I have to get it good. I have to get good. But I guess it's a lot easier to do when you're with another person, you know, divide and conquer the work. I've been focusing on my farming skill to max it so we can get like kegs and stuff. Cause there's no point in like spreading the uh, EXP right away because you know, then no one gets kegs until way later. I guess everyone could just make their own garden. <laughs> oh, that'd be cute. There's a lot of these little squares. Maybe I could just put Carm's little house on one of these squares for her and she can decorate it all cute like. Or have her own little garden. Or I could have Kent's house down there. And they could give Carm this whole section. And then we just need to figure out where to jam Orin and uh, <laughs> Snow. I'm, I'm not road mapping our yard at all. I swear. Don't, 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 don't stop the beat. Can't, can't, can't control the beat. Do, 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 do. Don't stop, don't stop the beat. Can't stop. Alright, so I kept getting distracted and dipping into other parts of the yard. We have to finish this one square for our sap farm. And we'll line it with paths and, uh, you know, put bees in between each tree. It'll be great. So connected. <laughs> so automated. Everything goes into a box. <laughs> I don't have my hoe with me. All right, all right, let's go back. I think if I use my hoe to pick this up, I'm more likely to get the seed. Yeah, let's go. So 
I think my favorite part uh, rule of thumb is that the trees that aren't fruit do not follow the same patterns that fruit trees do. So you can make a tiny little grid for them and they won't complain or just not grow. <laughs> you won't get the, this plant was too crowded, did not grow overnight. Ha uh ha. -huh. <sighs> Give me that acorn. So we'll, we'll do the important tree farm in this square, and then I think there's some space near the forgeable cave uh, that we can do the uh, throw awake tree farm. <laughs> Ooh, and then the pond row farm. It's too early to be thinking about this. <laughs> Acorn, let's go. I just need that. That's it. I'm doing it. Tonight, I'm going to figure out stream avatars. We'll all be little Junimas together. <laughs> Someone hold me to that. Does farm expand more progress? Uh, so I have a really big farm right now. Uh, so yeah, uh, starter expanded gives you a really big farm. Um, it just lets you, it, this one's maximized for multiplayer. I, I just really like this farm. <laughs> um, it gives you a lot of space for uh, the various farm things you can do. I'll have so many crops. I have two greenhouses. I'll have like six fish ponds making row and uh, useful items. Although I don't know what fishes are best to use now. -ho 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 -ho. <laughs> Plus my jam and oil and animals, obviously. Uh, I'm gonna use this one for the animals cause it's already like basically fenced in and all I need to do is put gates on it. And I'm sure once we clean out the uh, multiplayer one with Carm, she's going to have so much fun decorating it. <laughs> Apparently they added a lot of like furniture and stuff. So that's hype. I wonder if she'd let me play the save file to try and get us like a little further along. <laughs> I don't have a Stardew problem. No, not at all. That's not me. All right, now that we've cleared this giant square, we're going to build a lot of pathways. Little. I'll need this, 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 and this. Oh, and that. <laughs> I'm sure being hooked on the game will let you reel in any new info about fish. Ha 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 yes. <laughs> All right, so one, two, three. We got three signs. And now I just need a little, you know, path. Let's 
gonna eat our rock pile, but like, worth it. Oh my god, I'm so glad they fixed that. Uh, so when the, the game first got its update, a lot of the mods were having issues with stuff, so, uh, the, the floor was a little broken for a bit. You get areas you just couldn't hoe for the life of you, and they're always, like, right where you wanted to, like, build your garden, I guess. <laughs> Oh no, I fucked up. Oh yeah, the game do, do get mods acting up a bit. Oh, very much so. Alright, alright. Back to our grid. <laughs> so, uh, the grid is to stop additional trees from just growing uh, in between them because uh, we want to put uh, tappers on the trees so that they produce uh, sap, resin, honey and stuff, uh, maple syrup and stuff. And then once that happens, I'm going to uh, put beehives in between each individual tree. It's probably not the best way to use bees, but you know. This one is pine. Maple leaf. Which I believe is the little helicopters as we call them. <laughs> And last but not least, the oak resin, which is important in our keg production. They take like a whole season maybe to grow, so. There we go. And then we'll use the backup seeds just to plant seeds wildly so the trees grow so we never run out of wood. <laughs> That's a cat. Oh, bye, Byron. <laughs> we met, ooh, coconut, a uh, cookout kit, uh, kit, and a moss soup. Oh no, we eating little froggy soup. Or froggy soup. Actually, so you need green rain to cover trees with moss, but I haven't seen any green rain yet. <gasps> Pet Lizzie! <laughs> and it's raining, so, you know, no actual work on the farm except for reseeding. All right, so for the quality crop, we do need a lot of parsnip. Uh, you might need some space, more space someday. That's where I come in. Bring me raw materials and I'll expand your house. <laughs> someday. All right, I, I don't even know where to start. <laughs> oh no. I guess I should go uh, scavenging a little bit because obviously I don't have any pocket space. <laughs> Which is, I guess, the rough part about playing solo. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Oh, I guess I should go through the forest. Oh, my mushroom cave. I'm pretty sure I have a mushroom cave. I should automate that. Wait, did I automate it already? Pardon me while I experience indecision and confusion. <laughs> I must have. <gasps> we don't have it yet. Okay, okay. I don't know. I got, I got the forage cave like in three save files <laughs> in the last 48 hours. Oh, there's this mod I want to play with. Hey, Felsby, how's it going? So I want to add another story expanding mod, but also I, I it's just so much and there's already so much to do. I kind of want to install it and just like show you the sheer amount of crap that I can plant because of it. It's ridiculous. Hello, how's it going, Felsby? The Stardew Valley update's going great. I started fresh. I am uh, working my way to <laughs> the new content. Uh, hi. Hi, Martin. <laughs> I'm loving it. Cook Stardew Valley. Ooh, mushroom. <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> hi. Yeah, they finally added a Terraria crossover item. There's a Terraria crossover for Stardew? Oh, so good. <laughs> I, know ter I know Terraria and Core Keeper did a crossover. I didn't know about this one. Uh, process Geode. Yeah, in Terraria, they got a Junimo. Pet Junimo! I'm okay. <laughs> Had a moment there. Pet Junimos. I don't wanna be with this one, no. Don't want none of your brother, no. Pet Junimos. I didn't know Stardew had crossovers. That's amazing, right? Um, from what I heard, they got meow meow. Meow 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 meow. Let's go. Oh, sorry, pardon. I got a little too hyped there. Meow 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 meow. No. No. I don't want to be with your mother, no. Ah, let's go crab potting. <laughs> oh, I wonder how you get yum yum yum. Sadly, you can't get the sword for solid, for a solid because you need to get to level one hundred of the mines and throw that doll artifact into it to get the item to get. Wait, what? <laughs> so I have to find the doll. Is it the ancient doll? Crab pots over here. Crab pots. We can do conkle. And we'll get three free crab pots and think of the money. <laughs> Don't mind me. I grumble a little bit when it comes to Stardew. Seeds. I came to town for seeds. <laughs> Distraction. Copper bar, sir. I have not done anything in the mines. Maybe 35. But this one takes six days and this one takes four days. Oh, this is rough. What do I do? How is kale? Six days, but it sells for 100. And 10, but this one has a chance at multiple potatoes. I guess potato time. Man. <laughs> I'm gonna regret this later. 
Uh, basically, you need to throw the ancient doll into the lava at floor 100, and then a bone serpent will go out of will get out of the lava from uh, Terraria, and it will give you the green crystal. Then you have to go to the basement of the wizard tower, and you'll fulfill. You'll find the base of the pylon from Terraria. What? Okay. 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 I clearly need meow here. <laughs> I mean, come on, it's me. I need meow 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 meow. All right, we're gonna head over to the wizard's house. I wonder if I can get it in expanded. No, my pockets are full. So cruel. Okay. Oh no. I have to come back. I have to come back 100%. There's uh, carrot seeds there for me. He's going the distance. Wow, wow. All right, all right, all right. Give me a whole second here. Jackie Nimble, Jack B. Thick. <laughs> Plus one defense. Thank you. <laughs> I didn't know being thick meant you had more defense. But here we are, guys. Stardew taught us this. It's long, but it's one of the best and most iconic swords from Terraria. Only Zenith beating it, which is several swords from Terraria, including Meowmere. And it drops in the final boss again. Oh, yeah. I haven't done that yet. I really need to get around to playing more Terraria and, like, actually playing Terraria. He's going for a speed. She's all alone, all alone, all alone in her time of need. Raising the temps. And he's losing money, of course. He has to keep running and running and running. He's going the distance. He's going for a speed. Well. If you play Terraria and want someone who knows how to do it, let me know. Yeah, yeah. I will keep that in mind. I am, you have 905 hours. Damn. Let's actually find out what horrible number I have in Terraria. It's probably not as bad as my Stardew, that's for sure. I only have 390 hours in Terraria and I still haven't beaten it. <laughs> Oh, Stardew. <laughs> T mod loader, which is modded Terraria, has more. Oh my god, yeah. All right, all right. So we're going to the wizard's basement. Stormy days are the only days I can be in the certain elementals. Yo, there's a basement basement here. What's this? A receptacle of unknown origins. Is this it? Is this it? Because Lord knows I've never been here before. Ah! <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> the forest pylon. I love that. I would never have guessed. Huh. Damn. I don't I can't portal around yet, sad. <laughs> This home looks so cozy. <laughs> All right, let's just do a quick sweep of the forest for forageables. And then I'll go back to the farm and do some productive stuff. Tomorrow I'll go into the mine. 
I forgot how foggy this part of the forest gets. Uh, Kent! With the heart hearts! Hello! Kent, Kent, UI Info Suite has an update. Actually, all the mods have an update. <laughs> Level 4 sword, solid 2020 damage, plus 4 speed, weight 2, sells for 200 gold, but why would you sell it? Ah. <sighs> okay, sorry, had to release the demons. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for coming out to hang out with me today as I play Stardew because I did not feel like moving my PlayStation 4 into my office. <laughs> How's Stardew been going? Oh, it's so good. I've been having so much fun. Okay, so there's apparently a secret route to get to Sophie's house. I read it in the patch notes. Oh, you can never go up here before. Interesting. Because I'm not seeing anything secret. <laughs> Did you plan on playing Lightyear to, for, to uh, Lightyear Frontier? Because that's fully out. Like, the full game is out. No no DLC. No no updates. That is, like, full game. Fuck, I just realized Horizon Forbidden West is out on PC. Ooh, fancy. What's to no, it, oh no, it's in beta. Okay, okay. <laughs> you said fully out. <laughs> Unleashed with the hydrate. Thank you so much. <laughs> mm -hmm. I see, I see. <laughs> I'll think about it. I, I don't know if I want to play a beta. Especially, actually, I'll check your price quick. Twenty six bucks isn't bad, but I've been spurned by betas before. Boing, 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 boing. <laughs> I almost broke into the fence with the opera again. Oh my god, I didn't buy parsnips. <laughs> well, damn. Okay, okay, so tomorrow. Actually, no, Thursday, we're buying parsnips. <laughs> oh yeah, sorry guys. I got caught up. <laughs> uh, refill our watering can before we go to bed. Doing a little clean. I will get that like <laughs> board uh, workbench soon.
Do I have two acorns? No. <laughs> oh no, no acorns. Big sad. Oh, gotta pet the cat. Oh, the cat says hug. <gasps> I already did. <gasps> so, Kent, did you want to play some Stardew tonight? <laughs> After 9 p.m. Eastern. <laughs> you are down? I'm glad. Let's go. Okay, so because of my mod, I ha always have to harvest with my scythe. <laughs> I'm gonna use these seeds because they only take like they're pretty quick and potatoes take like six days <laughs> must update the mods yeah so a uh, UI in post we got an update and then like I think five mods on Vortex got an update <laughs> but they did fix that issue where you couldn't house on ground very good update by the way <laughs> they really are um, I've been meaning to check the portrait mod for Karm today, but I forgot. I'll do it after stream. Let's just grab all my tools out of this box. I wanna really wanna make the mud. Last time I heard this commercial was on a a uh, song was on a commercial. Oh, <laughs> it was really big in Canada. I also saw it in one of those cheesy holiday, uh, not holiday, cheesy robots movies. <sighs> Many yawns. Hello, Marlin. It was a Hallmark movie. Yes. I, did you see the one I also saw? It was like about wine and Australia. Or New Zealand. Australia? New Zealand? Oh my gosh, in my other save file, I have Neptune's Glaive. It's such a good weapon. But here we are, Glaiveless. So sad. <laughs> oh no, it's a little goobies. Such a little gooby. So 
think I saw there, and I think there was some more copper over here, maybe. I don't know, but there's quartz. <laughs> um, you know what I mean? Not you know what I mean? Please. Oh no. Is the little crab. Oh, crabby! Give me your corpse. No corpse. No corpse. I just wanted him to get crab buckets to get money. Oh. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. <laughs> I just wanted your shitty little body so I could get some crab pots. Firestone tires. <laughs> oh no, it's hardwood. And so begins the long journey of. Oh, hello, Kawaii Kitty. Oh, uh, thank you so much for lurking. I hope you're having a lovely day. You know, despite doing homework and stuff. <laughs> Back in our hunt. Oh no, it's a bugu. Bug. Gross. Not more. I was hoping to get something cool from that. That's okay. <laughs> crab, crab, crab. Crab? Oh, crab. Oh, no, bomb. I mean, that's good too. <laughs> um, oh, no. Decision. A little sad that we haven't gotten crab meat yet. <laughs> they really just don't want me to have my uh, crab pots, do they? <laughs> walk, walk. Not often you see Zafi who with the, with the need for crab. Right? I don't like seafood, so, you know, different <laughs> character today. <laughs> I just want to use them to get crab pots. Going to make the money. Not a lot of money, uh, mind you, but a little bit. Got to get the coal. <laughs> Wait, I should have kept the slime and got rid of the bug meat. But the bug meat will fuel my crab pots. <laughs> Oh, I was kind of hoping. Oh no, it's a swirly floor. I hate the swirly floors. <gasps> Dwarf scroll. Goodbye, rice. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, goodbye, rice. I should have got rid of the grass. I realize this now. Goodbye, swirly floor. I cannot be oh, garbage, but you know, it's also pretty. Oh, baby. Wait, wait, wait. Is it better than my current sword? Oh, it's an ad. It's always an ad. <laughs> I'm 
rubber ad. <laughs> Just just feel hope. Tomorrow I get my backpack upgrade. <laughs> I was really close to the next floor, so I wasn't I. Okay, so it's 18. 48 damage, okay, so. Oh, it's this guy. Uh, Guild check you over the important documentation regarding the Castle Village weapon cache. Alright, so Castle Village is uh, unique to Stardew Expanded. It is a village of monster hunters, much like Gil and Marlin, as well as Rothier. And they are situated out past the... Uh, I don't have my hell. <laughs> Does Big Pocket need, uh, Backpack need more pockets? Yes, so many more pockets. <laughs> I still only have one row of pockets. Do we finally have enough? I'm going to do it and make it get furnace. <laughs> so this is where all our stone stuff will go. But not quartz, because I don't know if we need quartz as it's like base or quartz as a refine the material yet. <laughs> and then I'm just gonna switch this out for and then do some yard work. Yeah. I spent this morning like watching this arc show with my friend Des. It's surprisingly good. It's on Paramount Plus and it's like about the game series, except they make Rockwell look like an absolute monster. <laughs> so if you like dinosaur and are looking dinosaurs and they're looking for a show. Definitely check out Arc the Animated Series. I kind of love it. <laughs> the dodo is just so cute. My friend was just like, oh wait, you're gonna love this part. And then the dodo appeared. And I'm like, yes, befriend it. Love it. Honestly, if I could play Ark on my computer, I would play the fuck out of Ark again. <laughs> I absolutely love survival craftos. Especially ones with like taming. I love being able to like fly around and shit. Um, if I could play it, I would. If I could stream it and play it, I would be so happy. You catch dinosaurs, I'd do my best to keep you all alive because you're my little dinosaurs. <laughs> Once I finally finish defeating my like upgrade list, I'm gonna play some Ark, some Nightingale, I'm gonna play all the games. <laughs> I'm so excited. Eventually. <laughs>
Oof, games you want to stream <laughs> and play, but can't. That feel, sadly, that'd be me sometimes. At least we got plenty of cozy games. Yeah, the best part about being someone who like leans more on the cozy side is that like very rarely will you ever see a game that your computer can't handle. <laughs> like, that is like the best part aside from the super cozy vibes. That is one of my favorite aspects of cozy games. For the most part, they don't ask for much except for their price tag. <laughs> and they give you so much ex like uh, entertainment. Like um, right now I'm waiting on uh, Coral Island in one update or two updates, I can't remember. Multiplayer will be added and then obviously I'll be harassing all my cutie pies. <laughs> I don't know how many players can play, but I'm really excited to see how they do multiplayer. Stardew was perfect. The story mode doesn't change. It doesn't lose its story. Everyone just kind of does it on their own. Glorious. Uh, Sunhaven, same thing, except you can't fight bosses together. Uh, but Sunhaven also has magic in it, and I absolutely adore that. <laughs> and they have magic in a way that, like, it helps you as you farm and garden and stuff. So like all your base skills, magic also helps with that. So uh, farming, you have a skill that tills soil. You have a skill that uh, waters your crops and one that will, uh, you shoot a bubble beam and just like vacuum cleaner all of the fish into your pocket. It's great. <laughs> Uh, the downside is that the farm size doesn't change when you have multiplayer and it's update players. So, you know, it gets real cramped real fast and you have to get real creative. <laughs> um, but S Sandrock, despite being one of my favorite games, the multiplayer was just, it was okay. It was interesting, but you lost the story. Morning, Zuffo just dropped by to warn you that crows have been flying about. I woke up to see him flocking over my crop field. Had to scare a few off. Huh, I think your farm is fine. I live right by that forest, so I get a lot of them roosted in the trees. Darn crows. <laughs> yup, there they are, darn scavengers. But looks like they ain't nibbling at your crops like they do mine. Would be a good idea to build one of them scarecrows if you haven't. Might not be a bad idea to build, build a few myself. Gotta go get started. Good luck farming. Oh, he's so sweet. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Dad. <laughs> uh, have you been settling into your new life yet? I can't believe you're all grown up now. Time sure flies. Now that you're gone. I have all this extra money laying around, so I included a little gift. <laughs> I lost my favorite axe. If you find it, please return it ASAP. I'm having a tough time without it. 250 gold for whoever finds it. Am I going to be able to buy my backpack and... Oh, fuck. My pockets are full. Where did this plant come from? <laughs> Who the heck? <laughs> oh, I have... Oh! I have uh, copper bars now. Oh no, decisions. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And we'll just put this plant here. I think this is what, I think Kent was the first one. Hey, Nart Ara, welcome, welcome. Have a wave, because I can do that today. <laughs> I hope you're having an ever so lovely day. <laughs> All right, so we're going to buy a backpack upgrade and process some geodes. And then we're gonna buy some parsnips. 
<laughs> in a desperate attempt to, you know. Library book. Oh, okay, sorry, I derailed myself a little bit there. Uh, Sun, Sand Rock multiplayer was fun. Uh, it started out like they, they described it in the initial video as like something competitive. But then it kind of lost that competitive side to it and you ended up sharing a land instead of everyone getting their own workshop. And then the story just wasn't there. There was no story. <laughs> And now I think we're in like a virtual reality uh, game version of Sandrock and we have to like build up Sandrock from nothing. But it doesn't make sense I guess because like um, characters that weren't in the game were in uh, the multiplayer. Like ones that were just like loosely mentioned. With an exception, I don't think Marble's in it. So, you know, confusion. It was a it was a weird approach, but I'll give them points <laughs> for trying. So I'm looking forward to and scared for Coral Island multiplayer. <laughs> Come on, Clint, go to work. There we go. Many apologies for my clickety clack. <laughs> Clint, come on, my dude, hurry up. Let me in. Oh, 10 minutes. <laughs> Let me in. From the steward. One. Two. garbage. <laughs> That's okay. Because we have at least one dwarf scroll. <laughs> We're slowly getting there. Put the dwarf stuff over there because all of the dwarf items fit perfectly in that one display. <laughs> so like, how can I not jam them all in that one space? <laughs> Oh, it's Shane. Hi, Shane. Hello, Claire. Morris. Ooh. Can you romance him? Okay. I don't know. Oh, because I, I don't know. I, I'm conditioned from like. <laughs> um. Sand Rock where it shows people you could romance with hearts and then just like regular people with stars. Alright, I'm not going to use my whole little tiny fortune. We're going to keep some money. We'll need it. Let's plant some more seeds. Hopefully we got enough. I should have counted beforehand. Mm-hmm. 
I can't believe I messed up that middle section. Oh, it's so bad. <laughs> Oh my god, we got it, YouTube Music Premium. <laughs> That's another game I have to revisit. Hey folks. That game is multiplayer and single player campaign are exactly the same. Which is so nice to see. Because uh, someone gifted me, I believe it was Spirit of the Island or something. Another cozy game, but with more survival crafto vibes because of managing hunger and hydration. Absolutely baffling. <laughs> um, but I was looking at the reviews because obviously it's a multiplayer. So I was just like, ooh, multiplayer, let's see. And then Big Sad. Great game, but no multiplayer. Uh, no story for the multiplayer campaign. And I'm just like, why do you keep doing this to me? <laughs> All right, let's continue our quest for, uh, shit. I forgot my health. I guess I should probably clean out the area for animals first, since that is my next goal. All right. We're just gonna get rid of the weeds and try and leave as much of the long grass as possible so it grows and spreads. That way, by the time we're ready for animals, it'll be a nice lush forest. <laughs> Okay, every tree goes invisible when you like look through it, except for this one. I get down the side so this map is this one tree forever haunting me. <laughs> Spring update. Well, cute. I'll have to pick up Faith Heart again. <laughs> Faith Heart was really cute. Uh, Snow and I kind of chewed that one up and spit it out. <laughs> In a sense that we absolutely just decimated the content surprisingly quick. I was very glad that it released like on PC as well as the Switch at the same time. <laughs> My experience with multiplayer on the Switch is, uh, you know, a little shaky. Once more, YouTube Shuffle is a joke. <laughs> See, that tree went invisible for us, but not the other one. Mm 
Oh, we're minimizing the damage to the grass. <laughs> I'm Still surprised that I haven't gotten a like mushroom plant yet. Maybe I'm misremembering the date that we're supposed to get them. Maybe I fat fingered it and got us fruit instead. Ooh. I mean, fruit is great, but you have just as many mushrooms. <laughs> you know what? I think for this playthrough, I'll do actually do the fruit run. I adore my friends. They're way too cute. <laughs> They're like, I don't know if you've heard about this game, but this game is out right now. And I'm just like, is it cozy? <laughs> I, I find it really endearing. It means they think about me. <laughs> so, you know, don't, don't be afraid. Just to be like, yo, you heard this game? It's a high chance that I probably have, but I'm always down to hear about it again. <laughs> Especially if you think I'll like it. Feel like a little kid. Oh my god, I think YouTube music hurt me. Maybe it's finally shuffling because I keep shitting on it. <laughs> it's not even YouTube music, it's just literally YouTube. I'll make my way out of this forest one day. I'll find the path to leave. So I want to say pickaxe here. Freedom. Oh good, the trees are already starting to grow. That's good. I was worried for a second there. Gunther can tell me more about it. Yeah.
Um, I need a second. One moment, one moment. Need more water. If you haven't gotten up and stretched out your legs, please do so. Do a stretch. Get some water. Be right back. <laughs> I'm back. Sorry about that. Needed water. Thank you. Thank you, Kent. How's it going? <laughs> oh no, it's time for the Easter festival and I have no money. <laughs> Are potatoes a good way of making money? Kind of, yeah. Um, uh, do I have a potato? Okay. Uh, so they sell for 80 each, right? 
and they have a chance to harvest multiple. So like, uh, this one is quality, but only sells for 52, but, um, it takes four days. This one takes six days, but everything will sell for 80 gold. And you have a chance at like two or three potato for the one seed. So general Stardew, uh, yeah, general Stardew strats are definitely just, uh, potatoes. <laughs> we'll sell the high quality one because it's worth slightly more and then we'll uh, put the non-quality one in the bundle. The reason I do strawberries is because that way um, you get more than what you plant and then when you get your cedar finally, you can turn the ones that you save into uh, seeds. Sell the quality ones and seed the no qualities. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> Like in a year ahead, yeah. That way you get some top tier wine right off the bat. Like when you get the kegs, you're just like, oh, look, it's the season. Uh, we all we already have strawberry seeds. Start processing that wine, you know, because you should have your kegs by year one, uh, by spring year two at least. If you don't, you're slacking. <laughs> I know, I'm being a shit. <laughs> Many apologies. <laughs> now you're being real. Yeah. It's nice to let people get experience, but it's just nice. It's like more efficient to let everyone pick something that they want to specify in first. That way you're getting all your skills boosted and you already have that money. Yeah. <laughs> Go cheese. So expensive. <laughs> Crambo's tree. Damn. Okay, so personally, I was hoping for a coffee bean. I finally got a coffee bean in one of my other gameplays. <laughs> Some games for the weekend. <laughs> Maybe quartz and diamonds. All right, we're gonna head to the mines the longer way. And look, our little tree farm is already growing. <laughs> Cause like, uh, no, can't take this quartz. Hmm. Very organized farm. <laughs> Thank you. All the cozy, all the organized. Just wait. <laughs> I should show you some of my final forms. My farms get a little crazy. Oh no, Grandpa said. I've never seen. Good day, Zelfo. Sigh, Morris promised Jojo would clear away this rock slide by now. Susan's trapped at home. 
and can't get out except via train. Now he's telling me the cleanup operation is delayed until early summer? My hands are tied. As the mayor of Pelican Town, it's my duty to ensure everyone is safe. Morris and I will reach a resolution regarding the rock slide soon. I'm just relieved that no one was hurt during the rock slide. All right, so, oh, oh I must be on my way, Zalpo. Don't bother using your pickaxe to try and remove these rocks. It would take you months. Poor guy. So, um, Stardew Expanded really plays up the whole Joja Mart thing. So, like, the rock slide here was caused by Joja in the, like, the mines. The fact that there's, like, more monsters is because of Joja in the mines. It's great. I love it. <laughs> I live for it. <laughs> Marlin! No, I wanted to come and say hi. And then, um, there's this cute path here. Go. I can't. Oh, it's a grape. Aw, it's Marlin's wife, Isabel. And then, uh, this boat will take us somewhere else. Oh, the boat will take us to. They really expanded Judge Mark. They really did. <laughs> uh, Downtown Zuzu City is another mod, and it takes you to Zuzu City, where you get to meet like uh, the CEO, There's some big Jojo Mark guy, and you can actually romance the Jojo Mark guy. It's great. I was uh, working on it before I got distracted by like a hundred other games. <laughs> I wanted to see what would happen if you uh, romance this this high powered yoga man. <laughs> Could you get him to change his ways? Ask him the questions. Nobody knows me. Do, 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 do. Oh, I'm so bad at actual combat. Ah, suckers. <laughs> Interesting. You could eventually outgo and judge my right. <laughs> I wanted to see if, you know, your romance changed in any aspect. I thought it would be funny. <laughs> I'm going to do it one day. Probably when everyone else is like all flavored out of Stardew, I'll do it. Because. Uh, switching between mods is so more uh, troublesome. Because <sighs> if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do the super mega mod pack. I'm going to have Lock to the Desert, which adds a ghost town in the desert, uh, on the way to the desert. It also adds like a whole highway between Zuzu City, Stardew, and um, the desert. Um... I'm going to have Rich Side, which adds a whole ass fucking town above Stardew. Also, there's a highway that goes there. And, um, <laughs> that, that adds the spirit realm and shit, you know, it's a lot of crazy stuff. Some kind of like farming god, and then I get a cool mount, uh, a house on top of a mountain that I can upgrade. <laughs> it's great. If I had the mod installed today, I'd probably show you guys how awesome that farm is. <laughs> and of course, there's um, rail carts that take us all over the place, but I don't think they actually connect. I'm not sure. But it would be really cool if they did. Oh, the flash. That's right. <laughs> Um, East Scarf is cool, but it adds, it's too compartmentalized. Uh, there's a lot of empty houses and you have to install additional mods in order to put people in those houses. And I feel like East Scarf messes with uh, Stardew Valley Expanded because it's in the same direction as Joe uh, Grampleton, which is where uh, Sophie's from, I think. I don't know, there's just a Grampleton. <laughs> Let's go, let's get stuff. <laughs> I 
All right, we have the way down. I just want to take a little sneaky peeky. There's no visible ore, so I'm content with going down. Let's go. This show is so good, but everyone wants to watch it with me, so I can't get past episode four. Oh no, I'm so sorry, Dis. I hope it goes, I like, I hope you get to watch it all the way through soon. Ah, oh, it makes me want to play Ark so badly. <laughs> ah, it was so good. I, I have to watch it. I'm gonna have to bug you later this week. <laughs> There's an ARC animated series and it makes me wanna play dinosaurs so badly. Oh no, bug. It's cool, I didn't wanna fight you anyways. <laughs> Little bug, you followed me from the last floor. How could you? I still want a crab. I have not seen a crab. Sad. Sad crab. <laughs> also, I thought uh, preserving jars required more than just like stone and wood and coal, uh, coal obviously. I think it's always like the coal that bottlenecks us. <laughs> Crab! Come on. No. <laughs> Give me your shitty little crab body, please. I just want to donate you to a bundle. That took so long to find the floor. The ghost town was pretty cool. Um, I never actually got to like explore it because I don't think it was ever finished. Honestly, waiting for these really big mods to finish is like updating is so painful. It's like waiting for a open access game to come out fully. <laughs> the really big mods are just so well done. Like expanded and rich side valley are amazing. Rich side valley definitely like leans more on the the fantasy side. Um, and Stardew Valley is more like well, like it's both fantasy, but like, um, I think like in Stardew uh, Rich Side we interact with like some kind of fox god or something like a bountiful harvest goddess or something I don't know our grandmother was acquainted with them they really go on about like smell and stuff you're like you smell of the other world Ooh, and crazy stuff you know uh, obviously I'm just paraphrasing what actually happens <laughs> oh and all the little NPCs they add are so adorable Oh shit! Oh my god, no! 
Uh, is the farm on a ridge? And terraces and rice paddies? I uh, know. I wish that'd be cool. Snow was actually talking about that or last night about how we need a rice paddy field to farm. Yeah, I got I got caught up talking and and mining. I'm so bad at this. Pockets are so full of stuff. Ah. <laughs> um, it is on a cliff. It's really pretty. Um, but no rice patties. So, I don't know how, but I messed up two of my playthroughs. I didn't get the strawberry seeds from Andy, so we don't have any, like, super early starter strawberry seeds. But in this playthrough, I got them. Um, I think I have two strawberry plants that are ready to uh, produce their first batch in two days. So, obviously, we're going to get a little more bang for our buck. <laughs> I can't wait to get the sprinklers. I am so poor in this playthrough. I miss everyone's watering cans being in a box so I could just double fist them. <laughs> Yeah, we did it. Maybe I should plant like, I'm just going to buy out all the strawberries I can. <laughs> Meow. Let's go, gotta run, gotta go fast. <laughs> Can't miss the egg day. It's egg day. Okay. Hello. Ooh, this hurts me so much. <laughs> oh, oh, that's the saddest amount of strawberries I've ever purchased. You know, since OG Egg Day. <laughs> oh, that's so sad. Egg Day, big day. Can't, I can't let town school do the show. <laughs> yeah, I can't let the kids find eggs better than me.
It amuses me that they always lump Emily in with, like, the mother characters. Specifically in Stardew Expanded. I find it really entertaining. Because you'll often just see Emily uh, hanging out with Robin, Caroline, and Jody, as well as Olivia. And I'm just like, wait, what? What does it mean? I don't know. Because Emily is Haley's sister, but Haley just hangs out with, uh, what's his name? Alex, who apparently looks like you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wasn't that what Karm was saying the other day? Hilarious. Poor kid. I don't see it, but I'm blind. <laughs> I don't see it either. Get YouTube Music Premium. Jennifer. Let's go. Okay, normally I take the path closest to the, the, the house, like home, but in all my playthroughs, I've been going to the opposite direction, so interesting. I don't even know where I'd find eggs on the other side of the map. <laughs> they put me over here. Let me go, free me. I gotta find eggs. Out of my way, nerds. <laughs> Suck loser. Egg. Egg. Oh, I keep touching her uh, wall. Egg. Do egg from dog. Egg in the park. Probably not the most efficient route, but no eggs. I want to get all, I want to get 10 before, oh, there it is. No, it was right there. It was right there. Okay. Wow, look at all these eggs. Now, if only I could get you kids to pick up litter this efficiently. We'd have the cleanest town this side of the gem sea. Ha, 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 And now the winner of this year's egg hunt. It's Zalfo. Of course it's Zalfo. Give me my hat. Here's your prize. Enjoy. See ya, losers. <laughs> Gotta put my hat on. Once again. <laughs> I know where the eggs hide. I can't not plant all my strawberry and seeds. It'd be great if I had speed growth. Oh, imagine how overpowered it would be. <laughs> speed grow all those strawberry seeds. Wah, 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 wah. Feather cat. 
Can't pet the cat. No. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> All right, first thing first, we're gonna learn how to make Kosla. Kosla. <laughs> oh, I can't wait. I had to check. Um, so I have the Stardew Valley uh, cookbook coming my way at some point. I am so hyped for that. Um, let's go, let's pull up this homie. Because obviously, we gotta support the homies. <laughs> What's this? <laughs> alright, alright. Um, when's my Stardew Valley cookbook coming? <laughs> Scream. 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 It's still processing. <laughs> I, want, ah, I want it now. I'm so impatient. <laughs> I'm will it have coleslaw? You have coleslaw. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> I wonder if it'll be a good coleslaw. <laughs> All right, so we do need the dwarf scroll, and we'll take these and that. But we also need our scythe. And then, obviously, for the blank spaces, we're going to fill them with carrots and potatoes. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay, so these are forageable, so they live by a different rule. They don't play by your vegetable rules. <laughs> Open up with the strawberries because obviously they're the most important thing to us right now. <laughs> and maybe there'll be a conco on the beach for us. At least I can help. And maybe we can find some rice seeds. They give you a lot of rest and they're worth the surprising amount. Scream. <laughs> oh. There we go. Scream. Okay, so you know how they have those like meal plan boxes, right? Where they give you all the ingredients for very specific things. Now imagine if they tailored one to like, um, fandom cookbooks. <laughs> so like, you know, you know, it's just regular food, but now it's got a fancy title. So you're more inclined to want to cook it. <laughs> Right? Who wouldn't want, like, a geek-themed uh, meal box? <laughs> All the cozy gamers getting the Stardew Valley uh, meals, uh, meal kit. <laughs> and then, like, the Game of Thrones one. And you have a One Piece cookbook. Uh, there's the Harry Potter cook. There are so many cookbooks. I mean, hell, there's even a Fifty Shades of Grey cookbook. At least I think there is. I, I believe I watched an episode of a cooking show involving it. <laughs> I think it had Snoop Dogg in it. I'm honestly not sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, someone needs to make a geek themed, uh, you know, cookbook. Meal, uh, meal service. Yeah.
<laughs> What's this? Oh, we get a cutscene with Alex. Oh, yes. <laughs> Sorry, Alex. Jody, yeah, you take that break. You deserve it. <laughs> but yeah, that's my big thought. <laughs> Sophie, I couldn't find any eggs during the scavenger hunt. I think everyone beat me to it. Pout. Oh, is this the Amy version of this song? It totally is. <laughs> it's, it's definitely not a... Uh, which of these movies would you think about renting? None of the above. <laughs> alright, alright. Let's crack some geodes. Because now we have money. Like a little bit of money. All right, let's go donate some stuff. And hope there's a conch on the beach. <laughs> dwarf scroll for the dwarf scroll section. Purple, uh, somewhere around the middle, somewhere around the middle. I need to make the little thing over here. Well, it'll take a route through the forest and head home. Just get some stuff to sell. And we'll do some light foraging on our way. Yeah. Quickly check the top corner of the blue moon. Almost auto-filled that into blue moon saloon. I have not been playing too much my time at Sandrock. <laughs> Children playing in the sewers. We've all seen this cutscene like a hundred times. <laughs> oh, Robin's axe. That's what we've been meaning to go get. Yeah, let's go. I think tomorrow I'll go get the workbench. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. Tomorrow's workbench day. So we'll bring her axe to her. Starting by uh, Valley Expanded, it's great because very seldom will you actually truly run out of wood. 
Unless you hardcore gremlin, cut down all the trees. And then like, make a hundred kegs in one day. Which I, I, I doubt anyone would do, cause like, the forest is vast and full of trees. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Acorn. I need to fill out like another row for my endless uh, keg needs. Is this a loft? Do you have something good for me? No. You don't actually have any. Ugh. Rage. Also oh, stretch. <sighs> okay, so I'm obviously in. Um, <laughs> let's just. Hold on. Hmm. I don't want to see that yet. Anyways. Uh, so there's this game that I've been following forever and I get so excited every time I see this notification, but every time there's a notification, it's, Hey, look at this cool cosmetic or like, Hey, by the way, here's a meet the dev thing. And I'm just like, I don't care. I muted this channel like three times, but I keep getting the pings and then you're just like, How many times are you going to get my hopes up? <laughs> now let's go find uh, Robin. Hello, Robin. I have uh, this for you. You fed my ass. What a good person you are. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it is 2000. Do they, they not ping out updates a lot? No, no. All the updates recently have just been cosmetic. Like here, look at this glider holder. And I'm just like, but the gliders don't come off of this. And <laughs> they go into a pocket. And then, um, oh, hey, we got this like screenshot contest. And I'm just like, I hate that they add everyone for that kind of stuff. <laughs> like contests are cool and stuff, but I'm just screaming because I want like game updates. Yum, 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 yum. How do I still not have a mushroom cave? Like, game, please. Where are my mushrooms at? What is this? Oh, it's another ad for this Mad Max uh, for Sodi. I'm going to build that bridge today. It's happening. <laughs> I want my crab pots. <laughs> and so I walk forever. So sad. Apparently we could put a hat a cat on a, a hat on a cat. 
So, obviously, I'm going to have to test this theory. Oh, Marty. So I haven't actually made it to another season yet in all my playthroughs that I've started recently. So I'm hoping I do soon. That way I can see if um, there's another seasonal vegetable or something for us to harvest, like passively, like the little carrots that we keep finding all over the place. I wonder if there's like an autumn, summer, you know, that kind of thing. Seasonal. <laughs> Don't actually need the corals, but we sell it. But if, and then I guess we just cut down some trees. What if, what if? I thought I held, um, the material before, but I guess not. <gasps> Koro, hello Koro, how's it going? Hello, hello. How are you doing today? It's Koro. It's going good. I was out and saw the notice for stream start, so I'm happy I didn't miss it. Aw. Welcome, welcome. I hope you're having a lovely day, that your outing was fun. <laughs> I'm just cleaning up my farm, you know, cat things. I'm doing great. I'm here with all of you today. <laughs> I'm playing my favorite game that just got an update. I am absolutely perfect. <laughs> I can't roll my R's or I would have. <laughs> I am incapable of R rolling. I am far too white for that. I do not have the gift of tongues. <laughs> I cannot speak French, even though I took it from the third grade to the ninth grade. Yo, look at that watch streak. Let's go. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support. Yeah. <laughs> I'll have to check that, like, thing. Uh, so there's this one that allows me to add motion to like different actions like grades and stuff and I really want to pick it up but it's it's not compatible with how I like stream my avatar so I'm waiting for them to do an update because they said they were going to work with a uh, magic mirror Because while VTubing is super cool, it is very stagnant with the motions. Especially if you're someone like me who just has it based off of keyboard, mouse, and microphone movements. Got an acorn. Let's go. Sweet. We finally finished all the rows. <laughs> Stack the same. Stack the same. Go home. Pet the cat. Yeah. 
we learned coleslaw. <laughs> It's a pancake rabbit, moss block, mushroom log, and tap or tap. Tipsy tap, the tree. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you're having a good day, pancake rabbit. Pastry rabbit. Rabbit. Bun. Who needs jump scare? Ah, it's a bun. Scream. Franny's trying to tell me how to do my job. All right, let's, let's clean out our pockets. It was fine until I heard my dad complain. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear. Many hearts for you. Okay, so then we just think on these guys. Pull out some more potato seeds. Uh, we're still planting parsnips because we want the golden parsnips for uh, quest purposes. <laughs> uh, thank had to blur to feel human again. Oh, I'm sorry, my dear. Many hearts for you, sweet bun. How goes cozy gaming? The coziest. <laughs> the coziest. I'm just doing some farming. <laughs> Chilling to some music. You know, cat things. <laughs> Oh, 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 I haven't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there we go there we go <laughs> yo shit oh my goodness hello izzy shika welcome welcome readers hello uh let's find out what game how are you doing <laughs> izzy shika was last playing stardew valley of course of course <laughs> Have a wave. Excuse me. Have a wave. Hello. <laughs> How are you doing today? 
I'm good. I'm great. Especially now that you guys are here. How far into Stardew Valley are you? Are you playing modded or vanilla? <laughs> <laughs> I'm vanilla. I'm year three. Damn! Look at you go. That's awesome. How are you enjoying the update? Don't spoil too much, but yeah, how are you enjoying it? <laughs> Thank you so much for following uh, Android Engineer. Welcome, welcome. I love the update. Uh, yeah, me too. Like, uh, obviously, I haven't seen a lot of it, but what I have experienced so far is amazing. <laughs> so, who are you romancing and or married to? <laughs> Gotta ask the questions. Anyways, welcome, Raiders. I am Zelfie. I am a cheese cat. That is cheese on my head, yes. <laughs> Sebastian, such a cutie. I love his motorcycle. Um, I'm playing Expanded, uh, Stardew Expanded, so I have a lot more NPCs, and normally I romance the wizard with the addition of a, a couple portrait mods, <laughs> uh, but today I'm going to romance, I don't know who I'm going to romance in this playthrough, but yeah, uh, modded is so good, um, they add a few quality of life things, like, it's not all just, like, story mods, there's also this. It'll show you the radius of your uh, your sprinklers. It tells you how long you have on your crops and uh, the radius on your, you know, scarecrow. Also, it'll tell you whose birthday it is. Salmonberry season. Uh, the the repair. Uh, how many days are left on your repairs or whatever Robin is building? The scarecrow one, right? Uh, it's actually on UI Info Suite. I'm sure you could probably just like, I don't know, I guess you would need Smoppy still. But, Stardew Valley, UI Info Suite. If you ever do decide to mod, I do suggest UI Info Suite. Uh, it is my favorite mod. Uh, here's the link. Sadly, you have to get it off GitHub, which is the only downside. <laughs> but it is a super huge utility. I placed my Junimo huts. I was doing some crazy math to optimize them. Yes, oh my god, me too. I spend like all season getting ready for it. Uh, and then I like grow hundreds of those star fruits. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I understand. This mod seems so useful. It really is. Because, yeah, again, it tracks your luck for the day, the weather for tomorrow. Like, if it's going to rain, it's going to tell you the, the, the second you wake up. <laughs> it is one of my favorite mods. <laughs> Oh, oh yeah, anyways, um, I play cozy games, but I also love survival craftos. Like, I feel like those two games are so polar opposite, but also the same. Oh, thank you, thank you. I'm on my, like, really poorly shuffled YouTube playlist. It's got a little bit of everything. So occasionally you might find yourself with a little bit of whiplash as we go from uh, heave your heave and hammer high to, like, this or like some Sarah Brightman because I do love that one album of hers. Hello, Wolf Slight. How's it going? I'm gonna buy some parsnip seeds. Oh, also, it'll tell you how much something is, but also the harvest price at the bottom. I know there's a book in the bookseller that will do the same thing, I think. <laughs> Yeah, so like it shows you it's uh, the seeds are 10 each, but because of this pa uh, the stack you have 220, but the harvest rate is 35. <laughs> Going well, just vibing while I work. I'm doing great. I have so many absolute cutie pies here with me today. So I am like super good. <laughs> But yeah, 
Yeah, the new book in the show sell, does the sell price. Super nice seeing the save, my saved up jellies being nearly 100k. <laughs> yes. Oh my gosh. Um, so I am playing on a modded farm type. Uh, Stardew Expanded adds the um, Immersa farm. This is specifically made for like um, multiplayer. Let's just quickly zoop over here. We're going to go to bed early and I'm going to show you one of my other save files. <laughs> I started this one specifically for streaming, but we're gonna go see something more optimized, I guess. Um, Alright, let's head over to the main menu. Load a game. Uh, let's try Crying Potato Farm. Don't ask. <laughs> I have a mod who is a potato and they tend to do a lot of the, the grunt work. They're, they're tiny little gremlins that like to optimize the amount of money we make. So give it a second, give it a second. Uh, Alright, we're loading in. We have our sap farm, which is also bees. Um, obviously we're just leaving these here for the season so we can... Um, just harvest them at, on the last day uh, and then we have our animals over here uh, we have two barns and they're all just you know dinosaurs they're auto padded and then uh, here usually we have it set up so it automates the um, the eggs into mayo but that might actually be in this farm oh no it's not I'm not automated at all what so weird not to be automated. Oh yeah, my ostriches. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. Um, and then if you keep going this way, you'll see um, my outdoor tree farm, which has all of the trees and okay. <laughs> um, so as you know, fish row. Um, with the mod automate, it connects things. So if they're touching or if they're on the same, if they're on like a line of flooring, it'll let you just like, like everything will pull into one thing. <laughs> so we have uh, my row pile where, you know, they're producing all of their stuff. <laughs> Rough day being a vanilla player, right? <laughs> I, I played it for several years before I started modding it, so. Oh, and welcome to my secondary um, cask room. <laughs> I have so much wine. Like, so much wine. And then we have um, ancient fruit in, in the, the greenhouse. I'm, I'm going to be a little lazy. I know I'm on the other side of the farm, but we're just going to teleport home real quick. Just a little bit. <laughs> um, so we have our tree, uh, our chopper, all of our, all of our coal, oil, and like eggs and stuff processed up here for some reason. I wasn't very optimized with it, but we also have, um, this is where the mushroom cave is in this specific map and they have all this extra space. So I'm like, let's fill it with fucking cakes. Let's go. <laughs> um, and then obviously my basement is, my basement is also just casks all the way to the door, I believe. Um, yeah, okay, this one's casks. Um, this is a multiplayer game, so the person's house, uh, of their own volition, I might add. Oh, oh yeah, and my battery farm. I recently raided it. <laughs> um, we have more kegs and more casks. Um, we had to frame it in a way that the NPC wouldn't break all the kegs, but they were all still connected. And then if we just take a quick trip over this way, 
we have the um the actuals uh ancient fruit farm and then some you know fruit we can't grow anywhere else but here <laughs> and wait there's more kegs <laughs> Yeah, 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 and then, oh, wait, 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 there's more, there's always more. <laughs> oh. Kegs. So, yeah, welcome to my chaos. <laughs> I think he wanted to put some stuff in the, normally, uh, before we used the Stardew Expanded, um, we would always just put all of our extra kegs in, um, the quarry, but I'm not sure if he did this time around. Yup. Yup. There it is. <laughs> there it fucking is. <laughs> yeah. It's so much wine. <laughs> I'm single-handedly toppling the wine economy over in this game. Oh yeah. Also just. There's another path to the grandpa's farm. I don't think there's anything else impressive here except, oh, okay. <laughs> I forgot how many preserving jars I have working here. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think this is where I plant all my extra trees when I like, I'm out of wood. Cause you know, making all those kegs is kind of monstrous. Um, all of our mead and stuff comes out of here. <laughs> and I think this is also just, um, I think this is also just, um, fruit trees, jam making and, uh, ancient fruit. So in this case, we connected all the trees with the uh, the jam makers, and then it all just goes into uh, this box. Uh, so these items are probably from Ridgeside, which is also another story mod that I was using, but it's not installed right now. So yeah, mods can get you crazy. Also, I haven't optimized this farm for Junimos. I just kind of like stopped. <laughs> also frog statue. Yeah. Where does this take me? Oh, oh yeah, Stardew Expanded gives you a little hot spring to replenish your stamina. I love that. So much. <laughs> so yeah, welcome to the world of mods. Hopefully you'll try it sometime. If not, that's okay. You don't have to. <laughs> I just like to share it. It's not as hot as you, bro, yeesh. <laughs> <laughs> Once more, thank you so much for bringing me your community. It means so much to me. <laughs> I'm so happy I get to share that with you. It was so fun. It's it's been a while since I've been to my other farms. <laughs> now we're back to being scrubs. <laughs> thank you so much for showing me. It's really interesting to see. No worries. I'm so glad. Maybe you'll mod sometime. It'll be awesome. <laughs> I'm so excited to get to the end game stuff and see what it is. But I also just kind of want to take my time and mosey. <laughs> I know who I am as a person. And I will destroy the content too fast if I didn't start over. <laughs> yeah. So what are you going to get up to for the rest of the day? I don't want to hold you too long in case you have to go like do some after stream care stuff. <laughs> yeah, give me those berries. But yeah, guys, definitely go check out Izzy Shika. Uh, clearly, they're absolutely adorable. <laughs> I really need to set up that thing that shows clips and stuff. 
It's 7 p uh, p.m. here, so. Ooh, drawing. Do you have a place where your art goes? Um, <laughs> yes, playing more day, more Stardew. I love it. Oh, your model is so cute. Oh my goodness. Oh my God, your portraits are so pretty. Yo, that is gorgeous. Oh, you're a little deer. Oh my God, I love that. The little spots on your ears are so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So cute. <laughs> she's old now. I need to do an update. Oh, but she's adorable. I love it. <laughs> I can't wait to see the update. I, uh, I'm also excited to catch one of your streams. <laughs> I love fawning over other people. And oh my god, your art is absolutely glorious. Guys, definitely check them out. They certainly are a deer. <laughs> oh, what's this? Parsnip. Oh, it's a, it's a ticket. Do I have, you know, I'm going to take this just in case I can get a parsnip. Did you say it's fun because deer? <laughs> yes, maybe. <laughs> No, I'm not making bad deer puns, I swear. <laughs> That's it. I'm following Izzy Shika now, right? Follow that cutie. Follow them. <laughs> Again, YouTube. Uh, shuffle, you suck. <laughs> Thank you so much for the follow, Izzy Shika. Welcome to the Cozy Group. And have a ye. <laughs> that reminded me to follow you. <laughs> I'm so glad you stopped by today. All right, let's see what we need. I don't have any of that. We have some of this, I think. <laughs> I'm gonna keep 10 salmon berries because apparently every single one that I've done so far has always required 10 salmon berries. <laughs> oh, I saw you. You were trying to hide from me. But here I am, stealing your berries. <laughs> I can't wait to find all the secrets that they have in this game now. I'm a, I'm a big secret seeker. <laughs> I've already seen one really cool thing. It gave me a really interesting hat. Very green with a buckle. <laughs> I didn't bring my hoe. Oh my goodness. Wait, 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 wait. Conkle, conkle, conkle. I just need a conkle for my crab pot. Of course not. It's a tiny one. I'll survive. I'll never be able to financially recover, but I'll survive. Wah, wah, wah. <laughs> I feel that. I love discovering all the new content without using the Wikipedia. Same. I, uh, I had to look at it once, but that's because like I kept getting recipes with a specific item. And I wasn't sure if it was like Stardew Expanded or Stardew Base game. And it was like, I was two seasons into the game and I still couldn't find the item. <laughs> I was just like, what is this? How do I do it? And I still don't know how to do it. <laughs> Thankfully, the Wikipedia had no answers for me. <laughs> Aside from that, I'm going in absolutely blind. I'm so excited to see what the giant trees are south of our uh, farm. Like, scream. <laughs> I love giant trees. <laughs> oh, 
Oh no, I'm trapped. Oh, is it there? Nah, of course it's not there. Oh no, I'm sorry. Those strawberries do good. Lewis said he picked some from your shipping then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not one for starting again with this game, so I got to do all the content instantly. It was great. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah, I've been playing this game since the day it came out, and I never tire of starting over. <laughs> Although, doing a fully vanilla run is uh, a little bit of a trial, but I'll still do it for people. <laughs> I mean, once you go UI info suite, it's so hard to go back. <laughs> UI info suite is love in life. <laughs> Makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> you get me, you get me. Ooh, what are you going to draw today? Something cute. <laughs> uh, do you do art streams often? I love art streams. I'm gonna totally have to check it out. <laughs> I'm not sure if you're like the type of person who has an actual schedule or if you just kind of like fly by the seat of your pants. <laughs> I'm the last one. Art streams are my main thing, but I've been re-addicted to Stardew. Yeah, the Stardew addiction is so real. <laughs> Making sure we didn't miss any on this side. I mean, like, if we really wanted all the berries, we could deep dive into the side of this uh, cider stuff. <laughs> That's right, I found you, Mr. Berry. <laughs> I actually don't remember if there's a lot of berries in this part of the forest. But I'm, oh, where does this go? Damn it, I don't have an ax yet, <laughs> that works. Have I played this a lot? Yes. Um, art streams are my main thing. I work my schedule around uni at the moment, so it's up and down. Ah, gotcha, gotcha. Understood. Okay, so like obviously it's almost spring here in Canada and uh, there's a Canadian tire that's doing a sale on a little tiny like plant shelter greenhouse thing and I think it'll fit on my little balcony. So I'm thinking of growing some really tasty fruit uh, vegetables and stuff on there. I, I like it because there's a door and because the fucking squirrel is near me. Uh, I grew hot peppers last year and I just kept taking a bite out of everything and throwing it because obviously they're hot peppers <laughs> and I guess like I know capsaicin doesn't work on animals but like um it was probably just like a ew this is gross I don't want to eat it because I just kept finding like all of these little sad peppers all over the ground <laughs> so if we get the little greenhouse thing I can, I can, I can, I can plant more crops without the little guy is getting into them. Damn squirrels. First my banana bread and now this. Harumph. <laughs> so yeah, a little hyped. 
because I absolutely love gardening, but it, I live in an apartment building. So, <laughs> but not high enough that the squirrels won't bug me. So, you know, where does this path go? Oh, no, that goes back to the beach. I wish there was like a specific map for this part of the world. <laughs> Ooh, what are you studying? Are you doing artsy things in college, if I may do so as ask? Because <laughs> your art is amazing. Have to go check out your socials. Do you do commissions? <laughs> I'm studying concept art for games. Oh, that's so cool. That's amazing. <laughs> Are you enjoying the program? Not anymore. I closed them because uni is so busy. Yeah, I, understandable. That's so cool. I'm sorry. I tend to fangirl over other people. <laughs> that's so awesome. <laughs> oh shoot I haven't even watered my crops yet oh my goodness put that away put that away uh, that's all the rest of the stuff put that away put those there and that the rest is garbage <laughs> except my cell fodder <laughs> apparently the items in that shack replenish because I feel like I've already donated maple syrup to the um, bundle. Let's water these crops before they die. <laughs> so if you get your degree, is there like a game company you want to work for? Or like, <laughs> what is your dream? <laughs> No, no, do not stop. Get back here, Mr. Berry. Okay, YouTube shuffle. I'm gonna have some words with you. They will be fighting words. I will throw metaphorical hands at you for this. <laughs> Ooh, Carmine's getting ready to play some Stardew with me. Haha. <laughs> Carmilla Frost is another VTuber. She made the fabulous little art of Farmer Zelfie down in the corner of my screen. I'd love to work for Riot or Blizzard because I love... Oh my god, you love WoW? <laughs> me too. <laughs> um, do you still play WoW? <laughs> Um, I'm sad about the workers, but like, I still love the game. I'm a sucker for it. I mean, I can play it with like, I'm gonna break right now until the new season. I don't blame you. <laughs> um, I still play it because I'm working on getting all the reputations in the game that I can. And I can pay for it with gold. So, you know, it's a win-win. <laughs> Although, because of the, the whole merged server economy thing, it's kind of killing it for people who pay for, like, their game with, like, currency of the game. It's so hard to find a really good gold gathering uh, guide. <laughs> I love going for achievements and reps in it, too. Me, too! It's so fun! I love mount hunting and the fact that Slowly, their armor is becoming a lot nicer looking. And obviously, they're having a lot more customization in their models, which is absolutely lovely. <laughs> I tried to play uh, WoW Classic, and I'm just like, nope. 
see it. <laughs> but I'm kind of spoiled that way, so, you know, pretty things. <laughs> Pretty sure I could put some more potatoes in. Nope. I got a super cute outfit from the Traveler. Oh, the magical girl one. I love it so much. <laughs> Yeah, I wanted to get the purple one from the cash shop, but I couldn't get enough gold in time, and now it's gone, gone, gone. <laughs> I love it. They're really, like, branching out, I guess. <laughs> I love it. It's Wednesday. Pierre is closed today. Damn it, Pierre. Why are you always closed when I need you the most? <laughs> I'm hoping they, you know, continue to improve the way their armor looks. <laughs> Although, they really do need to fix their shoulders. The shoulder pieces are always so huge. <laughs> big question. I'm a, I'm a shadow priest. What about you? <laughs> Frost mage. Ooh, so you understand my quest for nice cloth. <laughs> I mean, you have to play a clothy if you want nice armor. <laughs> Ooh. Um, do you have a mount that just keeps eluding you that isn't invincible? <laughs> Unless you have invincible and then, you know, don't tell me you have, don't tell me. Cloth equals surviving in the, yes, it really does. <laughs> I always have to find a buddy for like, leveling when an expansion drops because you're so squishy especially you know when they change some of the aspects to the class <laughs> i know shadow priest crying about healing <laughs> not yet i've been quite lucky so far oh do you have invincible do you have mimron's head <laughs> I was like, ooh, <laughs> have we even tried to get those? Uh, <laughs> the achievement hunter in me is just like, yeah, let's go. <laughs> oh, we need that for the geologist bundle. We need this for the geologist bundle. You know what? Let's upgrade my tools. <laughs> we definitely need it. I'm still kind of new. This is my first season, but I got full blown addicted. Oh my goodness. That's so cute. I love that. Um, what server are you playing on? If I may do so as ask. You don't have to answer the question. I personally play on more rest accord when I do play. <laughs> I find RP servers to be a lot more calm. Big relax. <laughs> I 
10 iron ore. Oh my god, what do you think I am? A wizard? <laughs> I'm on drain ore. Oh, cool, cool. <laughs> Zoop. Upgrade tools. Ooh. I should have brought my axe. No. <laughs> okay. I'll do my pickaxe first. I want my axe to be iron already because, you know, surviving. <laughs> Breaking all that wood. Screen. Oh, Alliance or Horde, Alliance or Horde. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba and what race? <laughs> horde, of course, of course. Nothing wrong with being Horde. <laughs> Adventurer's bundle. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. <laughs> I'm okay. Gonna go lurk now. It was super nice to meet you. Oh, it was so lovely to meet you too. I hope you have a lovely night. Again, thank you for entrusting me with your community. Rest well. <laughs> See you. <laughs> That's the commercial for the place I want to get, like, my little greenhouse from. <laughs> yeah, have a lovely day. Quickly checking the beach to see if there's a conkle. I have a dream. And this time I brought my, uh, hoe with me. Alas, the shell that I require is not here. Oh, look, good luck. <laughs> Coral. Coral and sadness. The only thing we find on this beach. <laughs> yeah, I should have just gone back for my hoe or my axe. <laughs> It's gonna, it's gonna rain tomorrow and I don't even, oh, 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 we need seeds. Seeds. I'm gonna get parsnips this time simply because, oh, Robins, we gotta go, we gotta go. Run faster, run faster. I want my, um, my workbench so badly. Out of my way, Maru. Oh, she's still there. Let's go. Shop. <laughs> All right, so now I can craft without having to have everything in my pockets as long as it's attached to the boxes. So many berries. You know what? Let's give one to. This is a great gift. Thank you. No problem. I love Linus. <laughs> He's such a cutie pie. I'm I'm confused as to why I'm getting two berries. I shouldn't have that perk yet. Because, like, when I was gathering them on my other save file, it was only one. Weird. Oh, 
Oh wait, no, these are, well I guess these come in one anyways. So we'll just put these in the box. No, it's probably just best to slap the topper on the second you get them full grown. Otherwise, you know, chaos. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I need a quick moment, guys. I'm going to quickly go throw things into the oven. So I sold some stuff, so... We'll just leave it here on the self window. One moment, BRB, real quick.
I'm back. Sorry about that. <laughs> All right, more Stardew. And time to plug my headphones in. <laughs> And it's raining. <sighs> yeah. All those oak trees now. <laughs> What can I even do without um, my pickaxe? I feel so lost. Apologies. Wait, have I learned the preserving jar yet? Too many rocks, too many rocks. <laughs> we're slowly cleaning up this yard. It, it's taken a little while, but we're getting there. Oh my god, it's only 9 a.m. I don't want to. I don't want to fish today. <laughs> yeah, let's go. Acorn is the word I was looking for. Acorn. I was having a whole stupid there. Just send this over to the person who asked for it. Ah, 
I'm stuck. <laughs> All right. My intention was to like wait a lot longer, but my oven beeped. <laughs> so I think it's having a little trouble. So I'm going to go raid a super absolute cutie pie. They are currently playing some game of life. They are a precious little lion. <laughs> I will be back tomorrow, maybe with Stardew, maybe with some, like, um, I, I had intended on moving my PlayStation to the office so I could play some, uh, Persona 5 Royal. Thank you, guys. Have a great night and lots of love. Heart to heart.